Hi there, welcome to day two of our skincare challenge. Today we're going to get down and dirty, or should I say clean. Um, so today means we wash everything that touches our face. That means use a clean towel to pat dry your face and no more using that dirty, nasty towel that your husband used after the shower that he used to dry his booty. You're not gonna rub that on your face anymore. You should also change your pillowcase every other day. So you put a new pillowcase on, you sleep on it, the next day you flip your pillow over, you sleep on it, pull it off, put a new one on. Or you could change it every day, but that's kind of a hassle. Um, but this video is gonna be about cleaning your brushes. And there's five reasons why you should um, clean your brushes every week. Dirty brushes contain bacteria, which when you put it on your face can cause breakouts um, due to oil and bacteria that clings into the makeup on your brush. Um, dirty brushes can affect the um, color of your makeup. So if you want a nice tan color and it's dirty, it's not gonna be that nice tan color. Dirty brushes do not allow the product to blend um, with precision like you want on your brushes. Um, cleaning your brushes keeps them in good shape and prolongs the life of your brushes, which also saves you money. Dirty brushes can also contaminate your products and cause them to spoil. So you wanna keep your brushes nice and clean, it'll save you money and it'll make you have beautiful, wonderful skin. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a um, brush cleaner. You want a good one like ours. This is the Senna Cosmetic Brush Cleaner. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it first. Actually, it's really sciencey, so I don't feel comfortable telling you about the science of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get an expert. Hang on just a second. Enjoy my veranda. Yes, hello! I'm here to help you understand what is the good stuff goodness of our brush cleaner. It is a Senna cosmetic brush and it contains our products. <laughs> our products are 90% natural and 10% science or vice versa. There's a lot of natural stuff in here which is naturally scientific. <laughs> so let me just tell you what's in it. I have a little notes here on the side in case you're wondering why I'm, I'm looking over it like that all the time. Our brush cleaner contains a mix of scientific and naturally antiseptic ingredients, which are safe for synthetic and hair, uh, natural hair bristles. I use a synthetic bristle brush because the natural hair brushes for my cosmetics that I use, which are my, the Senegis uh, Cosmetics, um, ooh, that's some cleavage going on there. Uh, if it's a natural um, brush, it will soak up a lot of my products, so I don't wanna do that. So I use a synthetic. Um, it contains, okay, so here's the natural ingredients that it contains. It contains algae seaweed extract, which hydrates, protects skin from the sun, softens the skin, and is essential in the penetration of the top layer of your skin so it can repair itself. So whatever you put on your brush, you are, if you don't rinse it all the way, you're essentially putting that on your face. So you want a product that is good, which is ours. It also has aloe vera, which is known for moisturizing, soothing, healing, and aloe vera has been found to enhance the, and accelerate your cell growth. As you get older, your cells want, do not replenish as fast. And with Cenoflex Complex in it, it will you'll get healthier skin right away. Um, orchid flower extract <laughs> is a plant which is a powerful antioxidant that provides free radical protection and maximum moisturiz moisturization. Chamomile extract, which is an herb that has been shown to have anti-irritant, soothing, and antiseptic properties. And cone flower extract that is a natural microbial herb, microbial herb that the Native Americans used for more than 400 years to treat infections and wounds. So wouldn't you want to use that too? Um, I swear this company is so amazing. If they put that much into their, their brush cleaner, can you imagine what they do for your skin? 
I mean, this is, pr I mean, I'm not going to say do it, but I would, I would feel comfortable washing my face with this. Just saying. All right. So to wash your, your brushes, you want to do it. Like I said, once a week, um, choose a good, a good, um, cleaner or choose ours. I can help you out with that. You're going to put a little bit, and this is a brand new one. I don't wash my brushes nearly enough and that's why I need to do this skincare challenge. You're going to put it into a beaker and all you do is swirl and you're going to start seeing it turn a funky color. Look at that. That's all the gunk in my makeup. Do you want to put that on your face now? No. And what I do, let's see if I can show you without having, I, um, sometimes I'll put a little water in it just to make it last a little bit longer. And I'm just going to show you this one and you do this for all your, your makeup brushes. And then I squeeze it out and then rinse it. And, and I keep doing this until the water runs clean and then I squeeze it out. I squeeze it with my towel and then you're just going to lay it flat. You also want to kind of re fluff the brush and lay it flat overnight at least. And it should be dry in the morning. You don't want to dry your brushes like this because all the water and moisture is going to go down into where it's, it's um, glued inside there and it's going to break down your brush. So either if you can hang it up like this, I've seen some people do it that way, or just lay it flat on a towel on your sink. Okay, hope you learned something today, gals. I know I did. I need to study for the next video. <laughs> Bye.